Hi there, this is Tim Meredith, co-creator and showrunner of Stella Firma, and I also play Trexel Geisman on the show. I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for listening to the show so far. The response has been overwhelming and all of us here at Rusty Quill are constantly surprised by the strength and support from the fan community. If you want to help us, you can leave us a written review on iTunes to let other people know how much you've enjoyed the show. And you can also help us by sharing your thoughts about Stella Firma on Twitter using hashtag Stella Firma or by talking about us on your social media platform of choice. We have very little budget here at Stella Firma for marketing, so word of mouth from fans is the main way we can increase our audience and ensure that we get to keep making the show. So nothing you can do is too small and anything you can do is massively appreciated. Enjoy the show. Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Zachary Pins, Adina Adriana Ciara, Griesli, Ash Sullivan, Jenna Nolt, Erica Kvistad, Brady Forsberg, Lorna M, Rose Marie Wong. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill and take a look at our rewards. Special thanks to Kate Onyet for today's submission. May the forces of physics leave you in peace. Rusty Quill presents Stella Firma. he's not late about being late. Oh, no. Oh, I hope it's a normal amount of late. Oh, bored, please. Don't let him be late, late. Just normal late. Maybe even early late. No, he can't be early late. It's about late, late time now. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, 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 Trexel. Trexel, you're back. Palace of Dreams. Hello, chair. Hello, desk. What? Hello, other chair. Um, Hello, David. Yes. Welcome to the Mind Dome. You seem very enthusiastic. Let's pop those lights on. Access granted. <gasps> I see before me a palisade of mental wonder. Look upon the paper on the desk. Look what? upon the shiny pencils. Trexel. How will they let us feed our minds Trexel. today? Look upon the clock. The clock. Ah, the clock, allowing us to confine our time into ever smaller segments. Numbers on there smaller than I'm happy with. But what is time next to creativity? David. Incredibly important because it's the deadline. David, you need to calm down in your brain. No! I've been to a seminar. Well, I watched a seminar on my hall of it. Well, I slept through large chunks of a seminar on my hollow vid, but the seminar was about the creative process. Right. And I have discovered the key. It's games, David. What? They just play fun little games to get themselves what they call warmed up. Right. And then I fell asleep. And then at the end, everybody was creative. That's what's been missing, David. What? Fun, fun games. Well, what's been wrong with the way we've been doing planets before? No, let's not spoil it, David. Why don't you get the brief ready? And I'll let you in on the secrets later. Go on, go on. Get right. your little, get your little paper, get your little paper brief. Okay, right. Initiating. Go on. Okay. What's on the brief there, David? Um. What's on the brief? Tell me what's on the brief, okay, David. Okay, no, hey. All right, Trexel. Sorry, creative. I'm a creative sponge. Right. Well, this is from Hypnos Soul Biter. And they want a planet where even the most insomniac of non-sleepers can lay a weary head. But be careful. It might be permanent. Mm -hmm. The grammar really made that tone clear. No, it did. So. You, you, you nailed it, David. Thank you. You, David, you're also a creative sponge. Soak up the words, David. Okay. Soak up the words. Right. Soak, Soak up the words, David. I, no, all the words are fully the words. absorbed. And I will now expunge those words by 
squeezing my no, creativity. No, David, David, the metaphors are for me. You just say the words. Okay. They really want some inescapably comfortable mattress fields where the ICMs are grown. Is that inescapably comfortable mattresses? I assume so, unless From ICM context. means something else. Does ICM mean something else? Context. Yeah, does ICM mean something else? No. Right. So we're inescapably comfortable mattress fields. Exactly, David. Exactly. So that's what was on the paper, Trexel. Shall we design a planet? David, yes. But how? That's the question, David. That's well, the question that plagues us all. I we'll, cannot no, sleep at we'll night have, we'll have, for the question of how to design. We'll have a talk, and then we'll write some ideas down, and then the build team will get them, and then they'll build it. David, like, are you a murderer? Because it sounds like you're trying to murder my creativity right now. Are you an assassin? An assassin for hire? Right, By the it, forces of mundanity? Is that you, David? I'm trying to assassinate. Show me the knife, David! Knife detected. Security alerted. It's a metaphorical knife. Knife metaphorical. Security alerted. I mean, to weigh your metaphorical ideas, knife, David, Fine. and join me in a game. Yes, Trexel. And the game is going to help us. Us get to the core of this idea. Right. Two brains. You understand the concept of having two brains? Yes. Two brains are better than one, would you agree? Sure, yeah. You're locked in. You can't look back. Wait, no. What? Tear out your eyes. Ah. But keep them in, oh. because you'll need them to look at the future. Oh. You get a word. Okay. And then I get a word. Right. And then you get a word. Okay. And then I get a word. Yes. And we keep going until the ideas fall out of our mouths. And the hope, in fact, the certainty is that whatever we come out with will be purest gold nuggets around which we can build a planet. So so what's what's one of the key factors in there? What are the key factors in the brief? And well, then we'll just start. They want a we'll planet just... where even the most insomniac of non-sleepers can lay a weary head. Good. Sleepy planet. Okay. Soft. Golden. Pillows. Adorn. My. Floor. And. Never. Touch. The. Ground. Hovering above the mattresses, hidden beneath. Listen, <gasps> there's a gold tiny bell ringing in my ear. But it's soothing softly, relaxing calmly, adorning the environment don't look behind you because there's a terrifying sleep monster if you don't look it won't hurt you but if you do look behind yourself it will eat your dreams so you see, David, that's the idea we're going with. I'm very you scared see? Now. You see, no, but no. David, scared is a kind of creative energy. Right. So let's recap. Okay. We have a field of gold and pillows just hovering nicely above a ground of mattresses. Yes. Golden bells tinkle quietly in the background, giving you a, a, a nice, soft, calming sensation. Uh, yes. But so help me, if you look behind you, oh. the, the dream monster will eat your dreams. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> so you see? That's what you've come up with. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bad you like that? Detected. You like that? Security no. alerted. <laughs> Tears are energy. Use them. Right. Use them. Oh, I'm covered in energy. Oh, wet, salty energy. Come on. Everybody loves a big pint of wet, salty energy chucked in their eyes at the end of a long day. Oh. So that's a base idea, David. Oh, good. Well done. Well done. You did excellently. So we've got a, a, a lovely soft pillow planet, lovely mattress underneath, and also a terrifying monster that eats the dreams. Because there were bells. There were relaxing well, there were bells. There relaxing bells. Relaxing bells. Because what is relaxation without the immediate threat of death and danger if you don't relax? Congratulations, David. You're doing very well. Very well indeed. Okay. Right. Come on. Expound upon it, David. You're, you're in the driver's seat here. Uh, I'm just a creative invigorator. I'm uh, just helping you along, pushing you. Right. Pushing you. Like a monster. Pushing you near a cliff of creativity. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Uh, that sounds like a really <sighs> relaxing place where even though it's a somniac of people will be <laughs> encouraged, if not threatened, to go to Absolutely sleep. Absolutely threatened. Right. Uh, they... 
Oh. Come on, David. Don't, oh. don't, don't get bogged down in the fear. Oh. Warning. David, come on. I'm going to have to bring you out of the stupor. Oh. I'm going to bring you out of the stupor, David. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. We're going to play another game. We're going to play another game. We're going to play a game. Oh. The alphabet can be both a prison and a key. Right. Can it not? Let's make it a key, David, by playing the alphabet game. Okay. This is an excellent game. Okay. We will each take a letter. Sure. A, B. Yes. C. D. D. E. The rest of them. So forth. Yes. And each sentence we start will have one of those letters at the beginning. If you get it wrong, David, then I will have to stop you. Because that is not creativity. Okay. But if you get it right, David, I promise you, you will come back round to a creative conclusion that shatters the very foundations of this company. Employees are reminded that threats to Stella Firma Limited will be cleansed. Oh. Oh dear. You starting on O, David? Is that what you're doing? No. You know, you're on o, no, you're starting on O. David, it's fantastic. You've started on O. Go with that. You're starting on O. Of course I can sleep here. Put down that worrisome cup. Your sleeping times are not yet ready. Quoth the speaker who telleth me to sleepeth. Righteously, this realm has a speaker of sleep. Woe is those who fear the monster, for the speaker shall set them free. Sleep now, and the monster will not harm you, for you are safe in sleep. Touch not the bells. The bells are there to calm you, but not for you to manipulate their brass rims. Undo your waking mind to the sound of the beautiful bells. Vast, vast seas of sonorous sound wait for you as it rumbles through your very bowels and you find yourself drifting, drifting, drifting off into sleep. So says the speaker. Wake not, for you sleep the sleep of the saved, the endless sleep, safe from the monster in your dreams. Xylophones are playing clashing with the bells, but in a way that makes you even calmer. You are one with the will of Hypnos, soul biter. They which know the sleeping and the dead. Zones of sleep encompass you. Hypnos commands your presence. Ah! Says Hypnos, soul biter. Boo! says the speaker, trying to play some sort of fun joke on Hypnos. Could he play a joke on Hypnos? No, for Hypnos is lord of this domain. Don't forget, there's someone right behind you. The monster is there. Kept in check, yes, but never truly gone. Each and every one of us are in danger of consumption by the terrible back monster save we but sleep. Falling into old habits causes you to have insomnia. Shed them. Shed your bad habits here. The pillows may be golden, the mattress underneath, sure, but with bad habits, you will never be free. Go not from this mattress, for its comfort is inescapable. Lie in its folds and give yourself to Hypnos, soul biter. Hallowed halls demand your respect, and Hypnos does so in turn. He takes your mind, he takes your dreams. Infinite is the sleep of Hypnos, soul biter. Inescapable is their mattress of slumber. Just is his judgment in all things. If he casts you to the sleep monster, it is because you surely deserve it. Kill the spectre of wakefulness and the monster that sleeps behind you. Lick the walls. They are made of sleeping candy. Mighty soporific candy filled with the finest sleeping drugs money and hypnos can find. No refunds. Warning. Cult founded. There, David, there it is. There's now a, a, whole, a whole host of characters. Hypnos is there. They command this realm. The judiciary might of their will is, is, is infinite. Then there's the monster still there waiting, watching in, in balance with Hypnos. But the speaker is there to keep order amongst these things in, in, the, in the middle. It's, it's wonderful, David. It's wonderful. Also, lick the walls. They're made of sleep candy and no refunds. Yeah, exactly. Um, sure. So we need... Uh, we've got the mattresses. We've got drug walls. 
We've got the monster and the speaker. Hypnos is there, obviously, consuming yes. their dreams, I assume. Yes, and I, I do... There is a slight dichotomy here, David, and I don't want to question the creative process, but if the monster consumes dreams, then that's a threat. But Hypnos also consumes dreams, and that's some sort of good thing. I, I don't know how those two things line up, David. Well, do you? Do you? You're the creative here, David. I don't want to stifle you. Well, no, the customer doesn't need to know that. Oh, what? They just, they, there's dreams. Well, they're already asleep, and their dreams have been eaten by Hypnos Soulbiter, so that's too late. No refunds. Oh, no. No refunds. That is. that is. You know what? Hold on to that. I think that's the real core of this place. No refunds. No refunds. Sorry. I, you know what? Went to sleep, got your dreams eaten by Hypnos Soulbiter. Sorry. No, no refunds. refunds. Sorry. That's just how We're it just is. We're saying the marketing pamphlet. No, no refunds. refunds. I, you know what? I like it, David. I like it, David. You, you're, you're really... Okay. 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 Let's, 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 let's keep this energy up. But. What? We have about a minute to answer one last question. Okay, well, let's play a game then. So we ah. need to do one more game. But what's your question? And then we'll use the game to oh, answer it, David. Oh, good. You know the what? Question, let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's put these two things together. Okay. I can see you're sweating. Right. How do we grow inescapably comfortable mattresses? Because we need fields on the planet where we can grow those things. David, that's a good question. And you're going to answer it during the game of change. Okay. What I'm going to do is you're going to just say the first thing that comes to your mind, David. Right. And then I'm going to tell you to say something else. And then you're going to say the second thing that comes to your mind. And then I'm going to keep going. As we mine through the layers of your brain, I'm going to say change, new right. thing, change, new thing, change, new thing. And eventually I'm going to stop, David. And whenever I stop on, that's the idea we're going oh, with. Oh, good. So we're going with sort of a roulette wheel of ideas, are we, Traxel? You know what? At least it's not a Russian roulette wheel of ideas. Let's take a spin. Noted. Now, okay. How are we going to grow these mattresses? From mattress seeds. Change. From um, pools of fungus. Change. Uh, okay, um, from, from a lava pit. Change. Uh, from, from the mind of Hypnosolbiter. Change. Uh, from the speaker's word. Change. Um, from the magical ringing bells. Change. What, no, from, 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 from the vibrations in the universe. Change. What, no, from, okay, from the Big Bang. Change. Uh, from the, the singing of the galaxy. Change. Uh, we'll buy them. Change. Well, we'll make them. Change. We'll build them. Change. Um, ah, we'll borrow them from the trash planet we made. David, now you're thinking. That trash planet has just, just millions of lost mattresses. And we can save a bit of coin by borrowing the mattresses from there. Oh, we grew them here. Sure. Oh, yes. We we grew them organically. That's what we'll tell them. But actually, trash mattresses. They, they're going to be below the pillows. Nobody's going to tell. Nobody's going to tell. And I'm just remembering right now, this plane of pillows on top of a layer of mattresses, we've given no form to the rest of the planet, but we're out of time. Stick it in the tube. Oh, would you like Stick it in the tube. Well, games are so... Stick yeah, it's gone. Listen. There it is. Gosh. Isn't creativity fun, David? Don't you feel that that was a, a freer experience? Less less constrained by the rules of this world and more constrained by the more arbitrary rules of the games we just played. I'm really looking forward to the review, Traxel. The review? Oh, yes, that's going to be that's gonna be looked at by someone and built, isn't it? Yes, we've only got one more planet and then it's the second review. Well, best of luck to you then, <sighs> David. What I'll do is I'll just leave you with this little list of other games we didn't get to, and you can uh, you can play them in my absence, and then maybe on Friday you'll be a better person. I mean, probably not, but, you know, we can live in hope. So, have a lovely evening, David, and I'll just Brilliant. put the light off, right, off, so on, wait, off, with, uh, off. I've done it off, uh, my... Uh, right. Well, I'm pretty sure one of them was called the Soup Game, and I've got no idea what that's going to be. Oh, well, another evening in here. On my own. Imogen Online. How can I help you? Um, David Seven? Please turn on the lights. Switch bypassed. Lights on. Access employee audio blog. Accessing. Perhaps if I get another entry done, it will help me relax. Relaxation requested. Initiating relaxing music. W what? Releasing muscle relaxant gas. Uh, oh, 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 dear. Stella Firma is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill Limited and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It was created by Tim Meredith and Ben Meredith and produced by Larry Ann Davis with executive producer Alexander J. Newell. In today's episode, Imogen was played by Imogen Harris, David Seven was played by Ben Meredith, and Trexel Geisman was played by Tim Meredith. 
The episode was edited by Edward von Adekas and Alexander J. Newell, with music by Samuel D.F. Jones and artwork by Annika Khan. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Discord, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at the Rusty Quill. Join our Reddit community on r slash rustyquill. Visit us on Facebook or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. May the board preserve and keep you.